nothing to you. Here goes nothing. Your adopted mom will call you overweight and she will say this insult in front of others. But you will go to college and you will realize that there are people who are way bigger than you. She will shower you with tough love and no, you still never had a birthday party or a birthday cake with your name on it. You will meet your birth parents one day when you turn 24. But it will only hurt you to meet them more than to not know them. They will continue to not want anything to do with you. So if you get the urge to reach out to them or look for them, just don't. Save yourself from another heartbreak. You don't know it yet, but after you graduated high school, you moved out of your mom's house two days later and you never return. You struggle to find your place in the world. You struggle to find your place in the world. You bounce from dead end job to dead end job. You felt unsatisfied with life. You attempted suicide twice because of this, and when your boyfriend saw the cuts on you, he laughed. Do not pay attention to that and do not try it again. You dated cheating boyfriend after boyfriend, then cheating girlfriend after girlfriend. Some of them will be physically and verbally abusive. Run the very first time. You somehow managed to finish college and obtain your master's degree by the age of 23. You will be just like a bird. You will never stay anywhere or with anybody long. You will experience heartbreaks. If you feel like you can't breathe and you feel like you can't do life without that person, trust me, you will be okay. In five months, you will not even remember their, their middle name. The dude that you are crazy about right now, trust me. The dude that you are crazy about right now, trust me, I already know who it is. He is going to hurt you worse than any pain you ever felt in your life. If I could go back in time, I will cut up all communication with him ASAP and do not get his name tatted on you. Don't do it. You see, Cookie, you won't always be brave and you won't always be strong. Sometimes your voice will shake and your hands will quiver and there will be times when your heart and your head cannot come to an agreement. But you will find your true strength in an uncommon place. Those moments of fear inadequacy and vulnerability that you have been running from are the moments that will shape you. Okay, so I finally had the courage to read my sister's diaries. It's been since September the 14th, 2023. And this story, I cried about it for so long because I was like, what the heck? She never told me this is where it started at. Okay, so I had just moved into my first house. Like, it's my first place. I had a one-bedroom house and my rent was $120. I had a boyfriend stand with me, and I'm not exactly sure what made me say, hey, Ma, y'all got a man and stuff, but, yeah. Anywho, I got behind on my rent because I was working a job. I was going to school full-time. Like, I had a lot going on, and the dude I was talking to did not work. So, I was just taking care of everything by myself. So, I called my mom, like, hey, Ma, my rent is $120. Can you help me? I'm behind. And she like, okay, your rent $120? i am like, yeah, can you Walmart to Walmart me the money? And she like... What I look like sending you $100 and I don't stay with you? Don't you got a man? I'm like, yeah. She like, okay, you want me to pay your rent, but he reaping all the benefits. Don't you get him some of your goodies every night? I'm like, yeah. She said, okay, so why in the fuck would I pay your rent when he get to stay with you? Why he can't pay your rent? I was like, dang, she right. And ever since then, so ever since that day, it changed my whole life. When I tell y'all, can't nobody in my circle at all tell you, yeah, Cookie be asking for, Cookie be asking, Cookie need this, Cookie always asking. No, I don't ask nobody for shit. 
That conversation with my mama seven years ago helped me to understand that don't nobody owe me nothing. You got to have your own. Mama may have, daddy may have, brother may have, but God bless the child. They had their own. Go listen to this song, and it's by Stevie Wonder, and it's called God Bless the Child. Go listen to this song. Every time I listen to that song, it make me cry. Because I remember there was a time when I fell on my luck, and I made bad decisions, moving too fast, and I ended up homeless. Do you think I asked to go stay with somebody? No, I slept in my car until I got my own. God bless the child to have their own. And please tell me if I said something wrong. I'm dating this guy and he wants to come spend the night with me. Okay, cool. I told him, you can come over, but please be advised. I work a full-time job, a part-time night shift job. I go to night classes to get my certification. And I am in school getting my doctorate degree. I barely have time to sit down and watch TV. So, tonight, I'm going to watch the new episode of P-Valley and 90 Day Fiance and Married at First Sight. So, you're welcome to watch those shows with me. But if you don't like those shows, you can go to another room and watch TV until they go off. Or however you want to do it. You can smoke, drink, do what you want to do. But I'm going to watch my TV shows. He gonna say, oh, never mind. We not gonna be in the same room, in the same bed. I don't want to come. Why do we have to be cuddled up like a pretzel all night? I'm not doing that. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm not clingy. I'm not physical touch. I'm not into that. Man, I just ain't never, I'm never gonna be able to keep a man, bro. I'm, I'm just used to being alone. Like, you're not gonna tell me I can't watch TV. Sorry. I first jumped off the porch when I was 18 years old and I talked to my very first married dude. And I was like, oh, respect, loyalty, dignity, oh, self-respect. But then I got to thinking, if he don't care about his marriage, why do I got to care? If he don't respect his wife, why I got to respect her? I mean, and he finna pay? Give me money? Uh-uh. If he don't care, I don't give a damn. I'm really not over it. That's why. That's why I've been so stressed out lately. I've been having so much acne in my face. Like, I'm not over it. I'm not over it, bruh. So I met the dude January the 2nd of this year. And the day I met him until like just last week, I was with this man every day. Well, he was with me every day, like he had a key to my house. The stuff, it just moved so fast. It really seemed like our whole relationship. Everything was perfect. I mean, everything from A to Z. And then one day he told me that he needs to talk to me about something because he feels really guilty. And I'm like, what? And he's going to tell me when I get home from work. I get home from work and it's like, you could tell the vibe was just so serious. So I'm like, what's wrong? What happened? And he's like, I just want to let you know that I have a girlfriend and we live together. And I'm like, no, you don't. You've been here every day. He said, nah, I just got her a ring for Christmas. We've been together for three years, but she let me do what I want to do. What was the point? So I guess I'm just trying to figure out like, what was the point? Introduce me to your entire family. What was the point? And y'all, my lease was ending like um, in February. So we were like getting in the car together, applying for houses, looking at houses, going to showings. What was the point? I'm just, I'm having such a hard time trying to figure out what was the point in all that. Ain't no way you was that bored, bro. Ain't no way you was that bored. What was the point? So I broke up with my last boyfriend last week. Because I went to his phone when he was in the shower and he was telling people that he was using me. And he had previously cheated on me with a girl and he was texting that girl. And he was saying that I love you and I'm just over here using her and just I'm going to be back with you. Just give me some time. And I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out what, what he thought he was using me for. Like, you didn't get no money from me. You didn't get my car. We, we never jumped up and down in the bed. You wasn't using me for shelter because you got your own place. What did you think? And I, I really want to reach out to this man, bro. I have had this man blocked for a week. I just want to know, what did you think you was using me for?